I will keep you and give you as a covenant to the people. Isaiah chapter 49 verse 8 Jesus Christ is himself the sum and substance of the covenant, and as one of its gifts, he is the property of every believer. Christian, can you estimate what you have received in Christ? For in Christ lives all the fullness of God in a human body. Colossians chapter 2 verse 9. Consider that word God in its infinity, and then meditate on the perfect man in all his beauty, because all that Christ, as God and man, ever had or can have, is yours, out of pure free favor, passed over to you to be your assigned property forever. Our blessed Jesus, as God, is omniscient, omnipresent, omnipotent. Does it console you to know that all these great and glorious attributes are altogether yours? Does Jesus have power? That power is yours to support and strengthen you, to overcome your enemies, and to preserve you even to the end. Does Jesus have love? There is not a drop of love in his heart, which is not yours. You can dive into the immense ocean of his love and say of it all, it is mine. Does Jesus have justice? It may seem a stern attribute, but even that is yours. For he will, by his justice, ensure that all which is promised to you in the covenant of grace will most certainly be given. And all that he has as a perfect man is yours. As a perfect man, the Father's delight was upon him. He stood accepted by the Most High. O believer, God's acceptance of Christ is your acceptance. Do you know that the same love the Father set on a perfect Christ, he sets on you now? All that Christ did is yours. That perfect righteousness which Jesus worked out, when through his stainless life he kept the law and made it honorable, is yours and is imputed to you. Christ is in the covenant.